Like many young boys, I read a lot of science fiction, and I was fascinated by the idea of life on other worlds. As I reveled in my love of science and engineering, I found myself attracted to developing new technologies and researching new science. Today, I don't want to just tell you scary stories, but I want to tell you a little bit about why this is happening to us. Today, I have online retailers who know my exact dimensions and can precisely create a shirt that will fit just me. In our healthcare system, in contrast, we are still designing the services that we provide largely around the Vitruvian patient. It's no surprise then that I became a scientist, specialising in finding life in extreme environments. And for several years, I've been working with NASA scientists in the relatively new discipline of astrobiology. While following my passions, I fell in love with a discipline called nanotechnology, a futuristic science that is everywhere and yet totally invisible to the naked eye. Antibiotic resistant bacteria are really the inevitable product of natural selection. I'm hoping next time I go and see my GP that she asks me what my average heart rate has been because I'll be able to gleefully give her the last 600 measurements that my watch has collected. Understanding the rules that govern this gene transfer is part of what I work on. And if we can understand these rules, perhaps we can use that information to change the rules. This is a discovery that goes way beyond just science. It's going to change all of our lives forever.